go through a bunch of pictures. Uh, my parents had a bunch of pictures, so I wanted to, to. So I just started looking through them, and I found one that I knew existed, or I hope still existed, because it was off of a one of those instant cameras. To, and uh, that's because that's all we had at that point. Anyway, um, I believe it was 1990. It might have been 99, but I think it was 98. 1998, Mazatlan, Mexico. Um, the, the Pacific Ocean is more, is, is a little bit, um, it's not as choppy usually, and it gets deep really quick. So you only have to run like 15 minutes or so to get out to the, to the fishing grounds. So you rent a boat. Um, you're out there in like a, a touristy area. It's all tourism on the beach. So you rent a boat like you would you charter a boat or whatever you call it. And uh, the um, this went out. It's uh, We had to go because it wasn't... Um, um, I mean, if you paid more, you could just get on a boat by yourself. And that's what we ended up doing in Miami a few years ago. But charter boat seat, we shared it with a couple that was from Texas also. They're from um, like the San Antonio area, if I remember correctly. And you head out and you put out the lines and you start trolling. Uh, the first fish hit uh, probably about a half hour in or so, if I remember correctly. Because this trip was like six six hours maybe I think it might have been five because the run is so short you just run out and then you start hitting the hitting the water so first fish hits and then like an hour no it's probably like 15 20 minutes because you find a spot in there around so the second fish hits and the other couple takes it then the third fish of the day hits and it's mine so this type of fishing you just troll and then the fish comes up and then grabs it grabs whatever bait it is in this case i think it was like a, a squid on a on a torpedo jig that was they're they're really long they're probably the head is probably like five six inches and then like a six eight inch tail right so you you grab the reel it's a large like a uh, just a I forgot what they call it. <laughs> it. It's like a casting reel, but um, but larger, basically. I forgot what they call them. Anyway, we got that. So you start reeling the fish in. You feel it, and then you feel the line go under a little bit more, and that's when the fish jumps, and you have to lean into it. So when the fish jumps, you lean. So that way, um, there's less uh, likelihood of the fish... Um, throwing the um throwing the hook which is what you don't want right it wasn't too long of a fight but this produced the largest fish i've ever caught up to this point like i said it was 90 I'm pretty sure it was 1998 so i was um 19 man i was 19 years old and I didn't get an, uh, like an official measurement on it, but let me just go ahead. Uh, where, what side am I going to put it on? Because I just plan on putting it like uh, like the wall. So I didn't get a measurement, but I know that the the fish was at least six feet long because I'm like six one or so, and I the the actual sword of the fish was above my head and there was fish on the ground so it, it kind of curved under I'm making sure I'm making the right motion it kind of curved so there was still fish on the ground so I'd estimate the fish to at least be six feet long so that puts it in the hundred to hundred and ten pound range or so I looked it up just to make sure but it was crazy because there you don't with something like that you have so much gear, you have such a big reel, you know, like a rod, and the, the, the line is really thick, that there's, 
that you want to hedge your bets, basically, to make sure that you have enough strength to pull it in. And it takes you, it hits you out of it a little bit, but, um, that was just, I wanted to, I found that picture and I was like, oh, I remember that. I hadn't done a fishing story. I've done fishing videos, but a story, geez, probably like four years or so. So I found that picture and I just wanted to document it and put it somewhere that, hey, this, this happened and this was, uh, still haven't beat that one. I, hopefully I will. Hopefully that's not the biggest fish ever, but you never know. I was grateful for it. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. I just, I just really, uh, I'm not uh, uh, offshore fisherman much, but that experience is just, um, just a lot of love. It's a lot of fun. 